Here come the big rig kids, y'all. Are you ready? Let's go. Here come the big rig kids. Roll with the big rig kids. The sapphire and the truck take you to such amazing places with the big rig kids. Those helpful big rig Hello everybody, welcome once again to the Kenna J Show, or not the Kenna J Show, but the BRK Show. <laughs> I'm here with two amazing people, That one we had last week, and this week we got someone special, a great artist, illustrator, whose hands are amazing. She does some amazing things with her fingers. But also we have the author of The Big Red Kids once again, my beloved sister Renee, and I just want to bring them in right quick so that they can uh, talk and introduce themselves for yourself. Okay. Oh. All right, guys, come on in. Hi. Hey. <laughs> What's going on, lovely people? Hi, just another beautiful day in the neighborhood. I hear you. I hear you, Jarabia. How are you today? <laughs> I'm doing well. Thank I'm you. Not, How are you? I am doing amazing. I got here blessed by two beautiful women today, an illustrator and an author. So there are some great things going on in life. Yes? Yes. Yes? <laughs> okay. Yes. I know you had an event, Renee. Let's just start off with the event you had last week. All right? the Easter event. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what, what uh, transpired with that last week? Um, the Easter event was great. I, um, like I said last week, there was a lady um, that was having an event in the community and her name is Gwen and we connected and within myself, I was able to raise 425 baskets for the children in the neighborhood. Um, yeah. <laughs> And we were able to hit the African American neighborhood, and we were also able to hit the Latino um, community. So we were able to service two huge communities um, just through the donations that people had made to us. And um, I'm very grateful for that. Okay, so you have. To That is true. That is so true. So the event went over well, to say the least, right? Yes, that went over really well. Yeah. It was truly a blessing from the community. So the kids were running around doing what? Were they excited? They were running around. They had an egg hunt. Um, there was cotton candy. They were able to take sugar cookies and decorate it. It was popcorn. It was hot dogs, nachos um free ices all of this stuff we were able to give to the children at no charge okay awesome 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 so with that behind you now what do you have in store now because i know you're always doing something <laughs> <laughs> right now i'm working on um book four book four i'm two chapters away from having book four done and um that one deals with racism and with the culture that we're living in today, there are some real issues that's being addressed in that book. Um, because as you know, Kenny, and I'll tell the public again, my characters are from different racial backgrounds. Um, they have their own adversities, but they learn to work together for the common cause and betterment of the community. And with everything that's going on today with the cops killing our kids, our kids killing our kids, our children being in cages um, from the Latino community. And it's just highlighting some of those things because these are things that's dear to my heart. And it creates fear in us when we see our children dying in the street. 
but also your Latino um your Latino community lives in some type of fear also. And with Naoki being Asian, you know, now the Asians are being attacked. And we just live in a country of fear. Yeah, no doubt. I um I I uh watched a movie, uh, a great documentary by Raul Peck on um, uh, Exterminate the Brutes. And it, uh -huh. it is amazing the history that we don't know about in this country and, and um, how it just a vicious cycle that, that continues. But nevertheless, we have another special guest here tonight. This is the wonderful illustrator of the books that you wrote, Renee. Yes. That little, the words were amazing, but I want to bring her in and talk to her a little bit tonight. This lady and gentleman is a woman whose artistry is, is second to none. Second to none. The creativity and the level. And yes. I, I, let me just introduce you to her and let her tell her story herself. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Geradia. <laughs> hey. Hi. 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 So, Geravia. Thanks for that wonderful introduction. <laughs> no, but uh, tell, us, tell us about your, your passion, your drawing, and, and how you connected with Renee and, and uh, made this thing a go. Okay, so my name is Geravia. Uh, I went to school for, well, I have a degree in media arts and animation. So, right after college, Aunt Nay, um, I'm connected to Renee Brown, the author, because I'm her niece. <laughs> so we're connected through blood. Um, so after graduating, Aunt Nay and I were on the phone talking, and she, you know, told me about this like this book series. Um, I love cartoons and characters and stuff. So when she came to me with the idea, we started, you know, developing the the character background so I jumped on it because fresh out of college I was like hey this will help me build my portfolio um, and it allowed me to get that practice and exposure that I kind of needed um, so that's you know a little bit about me I, I dropped and drawing for a while <laughs> with each book I feel like I get a little better um, it's a little easier so I'm excited got you got you that that's um pretty pretty amazing that you even do the drawing that you do like that you know it's uh it's i i draw sometimes but i'm no artist at all <laughs> you know my artistry is I'm not to interject. ray is not giving herself the credit that she deserves ray has been drawing since she's been a baby wow <laughs> you are ray she came into the world you need some applause. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so with that, with that, the drawing and everything, I, um, you've connected it with a positive message, none the least, right? So right. Our, our, so the kids, like you came up with the, I know Renee had the characters in her mind, but you conveyed that on paper. So tell us yes. about that process, how that came about. Like you... You, you know the different ethnicities, but right. when you draw them, you can really see the, the, it comes out of them. It oozes out of them. Their personalities ooze out of them. The faces, the expressions that you create on them and everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Um, with each character, uh, when Ane told me her ideas for them, I would say that their design really came from their names in the beginning. Um, just like when you have a baby. You know, you name them, their names tell a lot kind of about their personality. So when we first started, we worked on what our character names are going to be, uh, just a list of certain personality traits. And from there, I did a little bit of research um, because in college, they always teach us to, you know, get some. But I still wanted to use my own flair. Um so pulling different references of different ethnic groups, uh, also putting my own spin on it. I didn't realize until after I kind of created the characters that some of them resemble um, characters that I loved growing up. Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but um, Naoki, the shape of her face kind of gives me like Tinkerbell vibes. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know if you watch Hey Arnold, but Kaden, um, 
he reminds me of Gerald. Just look. So it's, it doesn't look identical to the characters, but each character actually has an influence from something. I didn't realize this at the time, <laughs> but I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I was kind of influenced by some of the things that I watched. And Sasha, I don't think I've ever said this to Aunt Renee, but Sasha, when I was designing her, she reminded me of myself. Uh, so I was kind of living through her. Okay. Um, Grandma Polly is, you know, kind of Aunt May in cartoon form. Um, Maria, there was a TV show called Maya and Miguel, and I honestly didn't realize that um, she kind of resembles one of the characters from that show. Maria was very special um, because she does have a disability, but she doesn't allow it to limit her. But I had to research um, how would the leg braces look, how would, you know, um, the arm crutches that she has, trying to make it look realistic, but still also fit the style of the art. And Corey, I mean, he's a prankster, so I wanted him to look kind of lighthearted um, because, you know, he's he's Corey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and Newton, the dog, uh, originally we had a different design for him or her, excuse me, Newton's a girl, uh, but Girl power. She is, yeah, girl power. <laughs> <laughs> She's an English bulldog. So even with that, um, you know, using realistic, um, every, you know, everyone knows what an English bulldog looks like, but trying to betray in cartoon form. And we can't forget about Sapphire. Um, Aunt May uh. being a truck driver and just trying to really find a truck that <sighs> resembled, um, I don't know if this makes sense, but there are certain models of trucks and some of them have curve appeal or you know like the the lines might be a little curvy some of them may be more straighter so i wanted her even though she was a truck she's a female so still try to show that soft side of her as well uh -huh. um so i had to do research on different trucks but you know trying to look to see okay what is what we're trying to get out there like she's a female truck so that girl power it's all through the storyline not just girl power but <laughs> yeah, it's powering all of us. Yeah. But definitely, I think there is a strong sense of some girl power. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. And that was ready. done with intention. With intention? Yes, the girl power was done oh. with intention. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got, you know, Kamala Harris in the White House now. <laughs> Women are, are but, doing some great things. It wasn't making even great that, though. I know. It wasn't even that. But I'm just there saying. was a fact that when we look at trucking, trucking is an industry that's dominated by men. Yeah, that's true. Definitely. But we as women are better drivers. <laughs> that's debatable. <laughs> that is debatable. That's all I'm going and to say. Anyone in the trucking industry, we are better drivers. <laughs> <You're all right. laughs> I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that one slide though. I'm gonna let it slide. But we uh, are everything we did was with intention. Okay, that's true. Well, it's an awesome, awesome collaboration that you two uh, you have manifested and and graced onto the world, if you will. You know, um, I had to go back and read it again after Renee told me some things last week, and I was like, <laughs> uh oh, now I see this whole other level of of. Uh, who's involved, who who inspired it, who's the motivation behind things like that. So that's pretty cool, pretty cool. So Renee, what do you have yes. coming up? Um, Really right now, I'm just literally working on this book. I wanna get this book out by June. Okay. And reason being for that is the climax that we're living in right now. Yeah. And the whole purpose behind the book series is that these things are hard to talk about. And I want mm -hmm. parents to understand that when the children read these books, it, it, it promotes conversations, it promotes questions. So it makes it a little easier for the parents to have that conversation with their children. Right. Right. And, and, and that aspect. And um, that's why we chose the topics that we choose. 
Okay. I feel you, sis. I feel you. So elaborate a little more what's coming up in this next one. Oh, okay. We have, we've highlighted Maria, we've highlighted Sasha, we've highlighted Josh, which is dad, and we've highlighted Caden throughout the other books. In this particular book, I decided I wanted to highlight Corey and how he deal with things because each book has a problem and the kids come up with a solution. This particular book, Corey Cousin moves to nowhere in North Carolina, which is where the settings is to be story. Um, his cousin and his aunt moves in with them because they left Minnesota after the George Floyd riots oh. because the mom bakery was destroyed. But in the same note, Corey's cousin, his name is Carter, and Carter lived with his mom and his stepdad. Well, his stepdad is kind of like this bigot. You know oh. how you have conversations around the house and the children are listening and you don't know that they're paying attention or some of the things that you teach your kids and they take it out of the house and it just spills over. Well, he gets where Corey and Corey's mom is, which is his aunt. And the terms he uses, like, those are your friends. They're colored people. How could you be involved with colored people? And there is this incident between him and Caden. I don't want to give too much of the story away, but I'm getting too much away. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. there's an incident between him and Caden. And then it gets real. Now, how do we handle this? How do we talk about it? And there are some things in our community that we kind of hesitate on addressing sometimes out of fear. Yeah. And right. I will say this much, his dad, um, King's dad wants to get law enforcement involved because of what happened. But Grandma Polly on the other side is saying, no, we can't call the cops. We're going to handle this in our community. And reason being for that is, you know, Josh has PTSD. Gotcha. And we're going to leave that at that. At that. <laughs> we're going to leave something for them to really get into this book and read. But it just deals with some of the fears that we have in our own community. Gotcha. That's awesome, Renee. I, I'm, I'm, like I told you last week, I'm moved by the things that you're doing, the, the people you're touching, the change that you're making. You know, Mahatma Gandhi said it best. Um, be the change you wish to see in the world. And, and right. you're doing that. You and Miss Jurabia, the amazing <laughs> artist. Yes, I can't leave her out. It's just so amazing that I know this was supposed to be because when I contacted Jurabia about this and I told her what I wanted the characters to look like, I told her what I don't, my purpose for not having all black children, we don't live in an all black world. Right. Right. And I wanted to show the kind of world that we live in. Um, and the book, everybody can see a little bit of themselves. But Jarabia is just so awesome that it's like we live in each other, in, inside of each other's head, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. That, that, that makes sense. So, Jarabia, I'm going to put yes. it on you now, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to you. All right. All right. Now, she's known you all her life, right? All my life. <laughs> all, all, all your life. Y'all are trying to make me the old person, but I'm <laughs> I got to. I got to. I got to. So uh, when this project came about, what was it like a no-brainer for you? Were you like, I'm on board. I'm, yeah, let's do this, you know? Is that part of your passion to, to uh, make a change it, in the world? It is. Okay. It is. It's different because what we're doing, um, I'm not going to say it hasn't been done before, but I don't feel like we see a lot of it. 
Um, so the idea definitely, it stuck out to me. It was different. Uh, of course, I mean, she's my aunt. So <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of like, all right, yeah, sure. Um, but I'm glad that I am a part of it because I see how it is changing lives and seeing reviews and even um, some of the little kids who give their opinions and saying, you know, like, oh, I love this about the book or, you know, they talk about this or when they uh, they describe how like they enjoyed the pictures and stuff. And, it, you know, as an artist, it makes me feel like, oh, OK, yeah, I am doing something. I'm making a difference. So for me, I'm glad to be a part of making a difference in the world. Uh, you know, it starts with us. It does. It really does. That is, is an awesome thing. So what, what do you have going on in the future for yourself? Yes. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> well, finished illustrating book four okay. is one of the things. I've also recently started a business called Draw and Press, um, where I create art that affirms. So just wanting to create positive images. Um, some pictures may be related to scripture base, but just again, spreading positivity. It's a lot of negative things that we have going on in the world. Our words are very, very powerful. Um, that's another thing I like about the Big Rig Kids. Uh, they're careful of what they're putting out, the language, even with the characters, you know? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm working on, really, just trying to figure all of this out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, awesome, awesome, awesome. That is great. So now we are a trio, right? Because we're all in collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. connected through renee how about that how about that uh, and we appreciate what you're doing to help us move along the way yes thank you <laughs> well anything because this is a big part yeah anything to do with uh positivity and and and, and my, my my beloved sister let me just put it like that she's uh See, look at her smile. You see, you see what I'm saying, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? She is just amazing. <laughs> she truly, she has a heart of gold. Uh, she's uh, she's just amazing. And whatever she puts her mind to, I, I've just witnessed her do it. And and she was telling me about this. And I was like, yeah, yeah, we can do some things, you know. Um, she still sees the whole vision. I'm just kind of going with her because I believe in her. I, I see the... Uh, the, the goodness, I see the goodness more than anything out of it. Touching people and jarring their cognizance. It's about um, shaking people up a little bit. Hey, think about, think about something. Think about it and just stop blowing with the wind. And, and these books definitely do that. They're a topic for conversation for the family and uh, just get people involved, talking. It all starts with dialogue and these books are will do that for any family if you sit down around dinner or even just turn the tv off and let's read <laughs> you know and, and, and it's great um kamika was another person that started out with us and she moved to africa if you go to my website there's a lot of music on there and um she did all those songs she actually wrote the big Rick kid theme songs and she's one of my um cousins also but there is this one song that she has that stands out to me. Yeah. And the title of it is Copy Me. And, you know, a lot of people will say, well, oh, I started doing this. Why, why are you copying me while you're doing that? But that's the type of person I want to be. If I can motivate you to do something different, if I can motivate you to get involved in your community services, if I can motivate you just to be an all-around decent person, if that just happens for one person in my lifetime, then I feel like I've served my purpose. And with that, <laughs> that is what it's about right there. That is truly what it's about. Um, it's like my I have another business called Heart Prints, and, and it's Heart Prints is what we do. We leave our we touch people and leave an indelible impression on them. And sis, you've done that to me. <laughs> you have truly done that to me. Look at that smile. You and Ray well, got the I cheekbones. I'm looking at how beautiful, man. <laughs> You're so special. Hey, I gotta be. Thanks. 
<laughs> y'all my brother special. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and anyway, you know, um, and as we talk about it, um, Kenny, I want to touch on this a little bit because yeah. we're going to continue doing this on Thursday. Yes, talk, talk and, about that. Um, on that. Yeah, we, you know, you wanted to know a little bit about Grandma Polly. And Grandma Polly was one, that's me. That was Mama. And um, shoot, Mama had, they talk about the little old lady in the shoe. <laughs> that's what the neighborhood was like when we were growing up. And I feel like that's what we have lost amongst ourselves. We don't have the village anymore. Right. And, and, and this is some of the concepts that we're bringing back through the um, books. And with Grandma Polly, Grandma Polly is what we called back during the day, Big Mama. We don't have Big Mamas anymore. Right. You know, you have the elderly living in a community over there, the young people in communities over here. Nobody's really guiding the younger people and not all of them. But you have some young people, once they reach a certain age, they don't want to hear what the elders have to say. And that's where our wisdom and our knowledge comes from. Definitely. We need to get back to that. Definitely. Definitely. We need to get back to that. And that's just touching on Grandma Polly. But as the weeks go through, as we come back on Thursday, um we're going to have real life people who are dealing with some of the characteristics that these children are some of the adversities these children are dealing with in the books next week we'll have a husband and a wife who has uh, a daughter with sickle cell and then we will have a, a latino young lady who has sickle cell which represents maria from the book so what we want to do with the shows that we we're starting is to deal with real people who are living through these diversities and adversities and bring them on and let them tell their stories yeah that's the purpose of our show yeah that that's awesome uh just like getting the word out and and uh getting the word out to 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 the masses really is is awareness awareness creating awareness and doing things that that you've been doing like the easter event you held and i'm sure you got another other things that are on the list to do Um, i think my next big one will be the back to school drive because the kids should be going back to school in august Oh boy, I'm just gonna laugh. Ooh, I'm just gonna laugh. My butt. <laughs> I probably do some um I probably do some book signings, you know, when the book come out. And being that Ray and I both are in Georgia, Ray, get ready, we gonna team up on that one. But um That's yeah, ah, oh, let me kick my butt, y'all. I was happy to see the kids smile. And let me tell y'all, if I never see a real egg, a plastic egg, or anything else until next Easter, I'm good. <laughs> are you gonna do uh, let me ask you this um i, I know you did a, a book on the postpartum depression right mm-hmm. so with that uh wouldn't an event around memorial day kind of correlate and coincide with that you think yeah that sounds good why was y'all gonna help me <laughs> well what you need sis i got you <laughs> we'll We'll sit down and brainstorm it. This may be one of the times uh, Memorial Day is during the time when we remember the soldiers who have passed away. Right. And I'm new to Georgia. So anybody who know families who have lost a soldier, that may be something, Kenny, that we could, you know, look into and do something towards them. Or, you know, even even people who've come back and, and are faced yeah. with that, you know. Um, yeah, my VA hospital. Create event around, you know, that, you know, and uh, talk about it. Create that dialogue and let's talk about it. Yes. You know, yes. conversations with Grandma Polly, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> yes, and that's true. You know, we're still brainstorming this. And yeah. um, if you're out there watching and you have any ideas or any suggestions, you know, 
Shoot it to us. Definitely. Definitely. Shoot it to us. Jaravia, any last yes. words for the wonderful people? <laughs> <laughs> you sit down there all quiet. Uh, I'm bringing you in this. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny thing is, I'm not a quiet person in real life. So, yeah. <laughs> but um, I first like to say, say thank you, Aunt Nay. <laughs> What'd you say, Aunt What was that? I believe it's this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of life. Um, but I like to first say thank you, Aunt Nay, for trusting me with this. Um, this is really your baby. And, you know, the fact that you trusted me to help bring your vision to life. Um, I appreciate you for bringing me along. It has definitely been a journey. But, hey, we are on this roller coaster together. Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. King, <laughs> for also assisting. I'm and just it seems like. I'm not that I'm much older than you, Jarabia. I'm sorry. I'm from the South. Um, <laughs> I say Mr. and Mrs. Uh, if you're old, you know, it's like five year limit. But I'm just Yo, saying, because I don't start. Jarabia, I'm only a year old. Mr. Kenny, thank you <laughs> for <laughs> allowing us to be on this platform. Oh, definitely. And well, all of you guys. Uh uh, I got to tell you, I appreciate you just as much as you appreciate me. Because no man is an island. And I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You and I have been on this ride for a moment. And we're going to keep going. Because guess what? People are asking when the cartoon is coming out. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yes. Which brings me to that question, Jarabia. That was on my, that's what I wanted to ask you. Some animation. <laughs> I, I'm I'm excited about that because that right there in itself is is uh because I, I was playing with some of your drawings and and I put the Kim Burns effect on it you know what I mean how the pictures kind of move in and out and then I was trying to narrate some read the book on top of it trying to see get a feeling get the emotion out of it so I was playing with it but I I, I don't know how to convey that yet so. <laughs> This is for you. <laughs> Listen, I graduated a while ago. So all the stuff that I learned in school, I need to relearn. <laughs> but I'm excited. I am excited. Um, I do pray that this becomes a, a cartoon, featured film, something. Because then I can say that I'm, you know, utilizing that degree. <laughs> but I would love to see the big red kids not just be like on paper. So, yeah. yeah. It's gonna that, happen. Somebody's gonna awesome. step in and say, we got some money to help y'all get this done. Cause we always need money y'all. <laughs> and, and, and it's just so happen. It will, it will. I believe it. I, I, I know it'll happen because it's, 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 it's positive. It's of God, it's of good, goodness, you know? And it, it, uh, right. it can't fail. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just people People want to be touched. They want to know that someone cares. They want to know that someone is listening to what they're going through, you know? And that's that's the crux of it all, you know, having that that uh, that compassion for other folks, if you will. Just like Renee used to have for me when she used to sit on me as a little kid and I couldn't breathe. Did you mean that? <laughs> He used to have nightmares. He really did. He <laughs> believed that. He believed his dream. No. But Sounds like there's a little I bit feel... of Corey in you. Huh? Sounds like there's a little bit of Corey in you, Aunt Nay. <laughs> Sound a little bit of Corey. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that right there. But seriously, when you talk about this, when I think about it, is we put out substance. When I sit down and I look at a lot of the stuff that's on TV now, and I'm not judging nobody else's work, people do what they do, you know, it is what it is. But when you have something that's substance, that, 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 that's great. And I've had, I've had people compare it to um, Fat Albert. Wow. You guys yeah. remember Fat yeah. Albert? It was yes. always a positive message there in the end. Yeah. Yep, definitely. That is so true. Yeah, I still watch Fat Albert. I just watched Keenan the other Don't night. Don't watch it too. 
the guy, the actual movie was on the other night. Uh, Keenan Thompson. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> KT. <laughs> yeah, you know, I watch a lot of the older shows because a lot of this stuff today, it just messes up your brain. You spend too much time watching it. Yeah. Saudi Arabia. <laughs> When you create that motion and that animation, <laughs> you're gonna have them back flipping. Maybe Maria. Whatever. You know what? Yeah. As soon as you said backflip, I thought about Maria. Maria? Because, yep. Because I feel like Maria is just like letting people know hey, don't let these crutches fool you. Don't let the leg braces fool you. Like, I can do whatever I put my mind to. So, who knows? She might. Yeah. Surprises <laughs> and do something, awesome. you know. And that's why I love Maria because Maria does not limit herself based on her limited abilities. Yeah, she pushed through, and and that's what I see people as in life, regardless regardless of whatever it is that you're going through. Um, who was it? Martin Luther King said it best: "If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl." If you yeah. can't crawl, just do Keep something. Keep Roll moving. over. Yeah. Roll over. There you go. Keep um, moving. There you go. But um, this is great. I am just so glad to have you guys involved. And I feel that this is a part of what we were missing, right? Yeah. Being That's able right. to sit down and get the word out to the people. I, I think um, that like I told you, I went back and did some more reading after last week's show with you. <laughs> but uh, it, it was like, man, I mean, it, it really just, it's just, it's that easy. It's, it's, it's almost not even a thought. This is how we should be living anyway, you know? <laughs> and it's an easy read. Yeah. It's not something where you got to go and look up words over here like I have to do with some people I know. Um, <laughs> that was a dig, y'all. That was a dig. That was a dig to supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> to find out definitions, you know, it's just an easy read, but it's also a conversation starter. Yeah, that, wouldn't you say? Yeah, that that's the whole thing, though. I mean, it's like even even in the Bible, when uh um you know they talk about speaking in tongues, the Bible tells you if no one is there to understand it then it, it's it's worthless it's worthless Very but when true. people can connect that's that's the beauty of it all that connection you know that is very true so with that said ladies are there any other things that you want to share a spill on the table Hmm. Just join us next week and the week after and the week after and the week after. Yes, because next week we have a very special guest. If you've read the book already, you know about Maria and she has sickle cell. And we're going to have some guests next week that are, are, are who've come through those challenges and rose up and did some amazing things. You know, looked it in the face and, and stared it down and, and came on top of it. But uh, they're going to be here next week sharing some of their experiences. Um and of course, yours truly, Grandma Polly will be in the hizzle, shizzle for dizzle, my nizzle, dizzle. <laughs> <laughs> and Jaravia, I just want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to uh, grace us with your presence and share your unique thank abilities because you. you are one of a kind, truly. <laughs> you are definitely thank that. Thank you. And, and uh, I, I'm just so grateful to have you guys and share with you guys and build in a better world for tomorrow or, or not even for tomorrow, for today, now, because now it's is all we by have. Day, sometimes yeah. hour by hour. Yes. Yes. And I take my hat off to mama. Y'all going to see me with many different kind of hats. My cowboy hat is my trade, but mama was the type of person who was just a hat person. And y'all gonna see me with many different kind of hats. Oh yeah, because that's who I am. I, I'm her. That's Grandma Polly. Yeah, that's gonna awesome. So that's, tune in for the hats. Tune in for <laughs> yes. yes. Tune in for the different colors coming yes. united on top of Renee's head. Yes. <laughs> and style. <laughs> in style. In style. 
Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, Facebook Live, I want to thank you guys for tuning in as well, taking time out of your day and uh, joining us in Grandma's Polly conversation. Of course, this is coming out every Thursday at 7 p.m. We're going to be discussing different topics uh, in our cultures, you know, everything from sickle cell, everything, things like sickle cell, things like postpartum depression. Um, and Brilliant. this new book that's coming out is going to be a treat because it, it it's revolving around a lot of things that are going on in the world today uh that's in the media that the media is highlighting a lot of yes so definitely we appreciate you taking your time and and uh hanging out with us tonight but uh if you guys know i just want to post something right quick a uh, little picture of grandma polly and So I have, and I Thank will you. say, I will say the little brother, but he's only six months younger than me. <laughs> now that ain't even possible, is it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, that's that's my sis, though. Guys, guys, guys. But uh, any any uh, closing thoughts, Jurabia? No, just no. thank you guys for your support. <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging, I'm digging the hoops, man. You, you're looking like a new baby over there. Yeah. Thank you. The hair, everything. It has to go with the hair. Yeah, it looks good. looks good. I love that. Classic. Oh, yeah, Kenny. They got to remember to follow us on our social media page. Yes. Go ahead, Renee. Yes. Tell them. What is that? Follow us on our social Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All you can't get confused because all of it is the big red kid. Yes, the big red kids. and the yeah. uh, uh, YouTube channel, you know. Yes, the YouTube channel yes. also. Yeah, it's gonna if be. If you amazing. have friends who are not on Facebook, this video is gonna be loaded to YouTube, so you 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 will still be able to share it. share it with them. Awesome, 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 awesome. But thank you. And we just thank my brother. I thank my niece. And look, it's a family affair. Hello. That it is. <laughs> it is. That it is. Jarabia, you were amazing tonight. Thank you for sharing thank your, your you. words, your wisdom, your knowledge, your expertise, all of the above. And Renee, what can I say? You know. You, you were great. You you blazed a trail you for me. Great. You you were first. And I just had to follow your footsteps. Six months different. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to that one. You six months younger than me. Six months, six years, sixty years. <laughs> Love you guys, man. Love Thank you guys. You. Love you, Facebook. Thanks for tuning in. Love you, Facebook. Remember to catch us. Here come the big rig kids, y'all. Are you ready? Let's go. Here come the big rig kids, roll with the big rig kids. Let's have fire in the truck, take you to such amazing places with the